Hello everyone, thank you for watching. Uh, the first topic in the, the series for Psychology in Two Minutes will be the founders of psychology. Now, these four individuals I've chosen for their huge impact uh, on the early stages of psychology and psychotherapy. Uh, and they, these influences from these four individuals have certainly lasted until today, and modern day psychology would not be the same without them. Namely, Wilhelm Wundt, uh, the German psychologist, William James, um, Sigmund Freud and Carl Rogers, all of which had huge, as I've said, huge influences on what we now know as modern day psychology. So let's get started. Wilhelm Wundt was born August 16, 1832, and is considered to be one of the founders of psychology, certainly the founder of experimental psychology as we now know it, as he established the first magazine and the first lab ever known um, based on experimental psychology. Uh, he began working with former student Edward Titchener, who helped further and promote his ideas and theories, and he was also a very distinguished philosopher of his time, combining psychology, philosophy, and physiology, um, and and really, really solidified himself as a very objective scientist and researcher into the field of experimental psychology. Also developed the idea of introspection, a very important uh, tool in early day psychology, which would be studied for years to come, uh, which is basically just observing one's own thoughts and thought processes and explaining to the researcher how they are feeling, what they are thinking about, and how this is impacting their life. Uh, William James was born January 11, 1842, also considered to be one of the founding fathers of modern Western psychology. So he established it within America. He wrote a lengthy book called The Principles of Psychology, written in 1890, which was extremely popular and incredibly influential on the early days of psychology. Uh, quite funny to note here that he absolutely detested the book that he had written, uh, it, despite its absolute um, influence on everything. Uh, alike Wund, he blended physiology, philosophy and psychology in order to produce his theories and assumptions um, and also, also notably sourced religion as a concept that was psychology related, which hadn't been done as much at the time until, until um, James made it popular. Uh, he also established the first American psychological lab in 1875, but it was more for teaching um, rather, rather than Wund's, which was devoted to experimentation. Now that we've spoken a bit about the characters who had a huge influence on research psychology and experimental psychology, we can now dig into the individuals or two individuals who had a huge impact on psychoanalysis or therapy. Uh, most importantly, Sigmund Freud, born May 6th, 1856, considered to be the founding father of Western psychotherapy and most day, uh, most modern forms of therapy and psychoanalysis can be traced back to the works of Freud. Uh, he was also very well known as a philosopher. His theories stress the absolute importance of unconscious forces, especially the concept of repression. Now repression is uh, an idea that people push down bad thoughts and temptations in order to, to keep themselves sane and to stop them from becoming unhappy. But when these build up too much, that it, that is what makes someone unhappy. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. He was highly controversial both back in his time and to this very day, um, mainly by his theories, which suggested that people were driven mainly by sexual urges and urges to satiate um, impulses and desires. Um, However, many of his theories cannot be disproven, which slightly discredits a lot of his claims, but his impact on the counselling world of psychology absolutely cannot be overstated. Now, Carl Rogers was born January 8th, 1902, and he developed many theories which led to major advancements in the field of psychoanalysis. He greatly, greatly promoted the idea of the relationships between people and their importance to the health of individuals. Um, specifically in psychoanalysis, he promoted the idea of a healthy client practitioner relationship and stressed the importance of this greatly. Um, he, he 
constantly claimed that providing a warm and accept, accepting environment to the client uh, was the first step in a successful uh, therapy. Uh, he developed a few essential theories on personality and human motivation. He also theorized that individuals developed in personality and attained meaning by attempting to reach what is known as self-actualization, a situation where one fulfills their full potential and becomes their ideal self. Now he contended, uh, and many much research has gone into this field, that this path to self-actualization can be followed to find your ideal self and finally become happy. Thank you everyone for watching first video. So it's probably pretty average, but let me know if I can improve on anything in the comments. Purely meant to be educational. Um, I can accept any criticism that comes my way. So send it through. Um, hopefully now you know a bit more about the founding fathers of psychology, Carl Rogers, Wilhelm Wundt, William James, and Sigmund Freud. Um, yep, thank you for listening. All of the resources I use to get all this information will be in the description and look forward to the next video which will be about the evolution of psychology, how it came to be, um, how it was in the past and how it has changed into the future.